Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for joining me here on Exploit Security. I'm your host CyberMonkey and welcome to the Defend the Web series. Uh, for today's video, we're going to be going over intro level two and we're going to kind of see how we can progress. I've completed about 12 of the challenges, so I'm going to try to film the content and just release them on a schedule just so I can have a little bit extra time to study. So, if you did not tune into the last video, maybe you're kind of jumping in a bit late. Defend the Web is a security platform where you can work on exploiting a web application. It has over 60 different challenges that you can do. Uh, and what I like about um, web hosted security training and pen testing training is it, it's defined, it's well defined. You know, when you look at things like Vuln Hub, you have to download the machine and you have to go through. It's, it's always nice jumping over to something like this where they have stages and levels where you can progress through. I enjoy it. it, it keeps me a little bit more focused as opposed to, you know, if you do like damn vulnerable web application, you know, it doesn't really take you through the guided or it doesn't have series of levels. You kind of work on your own and sometimes you kind of miss the mark on, on some of the things that you're trying to learn. Here with these, you know, well created challenges, you get to really focus on um, just kind of progressing through the levels and they just get progressively harder as you go. So they are very, very beneficial to have training levels like this. So I, I really enjoy doing them and I do get a lot of value from them. So hopefully everyone watching gets a lot of value from it as well. Um, they are really fun to work with. They do help you build on the essential skills that are required for the OSCP. And um, I mean, they're just fun to do in general. So. I, I highly recommend if you have never jumped into things like Root Me, Over the Wire, Defend the Web. I mean, there's there's dozens. Hack this site. We can go through them all. But they are a lot of fun to jump into and kind of get a warm and fuzzy feeling with them before you start jumping into those vulnerable machines and everything. It starts giving you a few ideas, and you can always bounce back and forth from you know from one or the other. Um, that's typically what I do is I jump over from Hack the Box over the wire and as I start to identify skills that I'm still weak on, I start trying to focus on, you know, levels or challenges where I can really work on those weaknesses that I have. So, without wasting too much of your time, let's go and in, jump into Defend the Web, intro two. Um, so let's see what we are working with. So, same thing as normal, the first thing we're gonna do is just inspect the page source. Um, and we're gonna kind of cruise through here and see what we find. So give me a minute as I read through. I do not remember the solution since I did these initially maybe about a week or two ago. Um, so I do need some time to kind of re-exploit the level. Um, but as I do, I'll, I'll be talking with you and I'm more than happy to um, multitask a little bit even though I'm not the best at it. So if I do get a little bit quiet, just bear with me. All right, so let's see what we're working with. At this point, we are just kind of, we're doing a quick comb through of the page source, um, kind of going through all of the HTML, seeing what we can identify if there is anything of value in here. So just to simplify it, we're gonna hit Control F and we're gonna see if we can find password. There we go, the password input field. Um, we have something here, which might be the password. It's looking like it. Um, yeah, that's like it. Yeah, yeah, it looks like. And as you can see here, username is just above it, which is smiley, smileys with the five for the initial S. But let's go ahead and copy these and um, see if this is the solution that we need. And if I remember correctly, I think like the first three levels, first three to you know, five levels are, are pretty similar in nature. Um, and it's just kind of hidden a little bit better as you progress. So control F can help entering, you know, keywords like password, username, user, pass, um, anything like that can definitely help you out, you know, doing keyword searches instead of having to comb through the whole thing. I personally like combing through the whole thing and then start doing keyword searches. It gives me a better idea of what I'm looking at, but you know, everyone's methodology is a bit different. So just because I do something does not mean that you have to do the same thing. Whatever works for you works for you. Whatever works for me works for me. We can kick ideas back and forth. Maybe I have some ideas that will benefit you. Maybe you have a few ideas for 
doing some of these challenges and if so definitely kick them in the comments below but i i do hope you enjoy the content and as we progress in these levels they are going to get a little bit harder so if you do like all this content that you're seeing and you are interested in seeing more please definitely like share and subscribe i'm up to about 35 36 subscribers now i would like to see that number jump up a bit more and i do plan on doing giveaways as we get higher in um user content and user subscriber list so definitely stay tuned check that out if you have recommendations or maybe some videos or walkthroughs you want to see pick them my way in the comments below i try to be as you know active as possible and i try to respond as quickly as possible so if you have any questions by all means send them my way other than that thanks for tuning in to exploit security and i will catch you in the next video thanks everyone